Hello and welcome to the session on synchronization hardware in operating system. Here before we move forward, here is the learning outcome. At the end of this session, students will be able to uniquely identify the hardware solution of the critical section problem. In the previous session, we have discussed software based solution to the critical section problem. But as we know, software based solutions such as Peterson solutions, which are not guaranteed to work on modern computer architectures. Here we are going to explore some more solutions to the critical section problem using the techniques which are ranging from hardware to software based APIs which are available to both kernel developers and application programmers. All these solutions which are based on the premise of locking which means that protecting critical regions through the use of locks. Here we will discuss some simple hardware instructions which are available on many systems and also showing how they can be used effectively in the solving the critical section problem. Hardware features can make any programming task easier and improve system efficiency. The critical section problem it could be solved simply in the single processor environment if we could prevent interrupts from occurring while a shared variable was being modified. So by using this technique, we could be sure that the current sequence of instructions would be allowed to execute in order without preemption. No other instructions would be run and no unexpected modifications could be made to the shared. This message passing delays entry into each critical section and the system efficiency could be decreases. Also consider the effect on a system clocks if the clock is kept updated by interrupts. Here many modern computer systems therefore provide a special hardware instructions that allows us either to test and modify the contents of a word or to swap the contents of two words automatically. Which means that it is one uninterruptible unit. Here we are going to use these special instructions to solve the critical section problem in a relatively simple manner. Also on the other hand one specific instruction for one specific machine here we are going to abstract the main concept behind these types of instructions by describing the test and set and compare and swap instructions. The test and set instructions can be defined here shown in this particular diagram. The important characteristics of this instruction it is executed atomically. Therefore if two test and set instructions are executed simultaneously which means that each one on different CPU then they will be executed sequentially in some arbitrary order. If the machine supports the test and set instruction then we can implement the mutual exclusion by declaring a boolean variable lock which is going to be initialized false. The structure of process PI is shown in this particular diagram. The compare and swap instruction in the contrast to the test and set instruction which operates on three operands and which are being defined as shown in this particular diagram. The operand value is set to new value only if the expression here 
कंपेयर एंड स्वैप अलवेज रिटर्न्स द ओरिजिनल वैल्यू ऑफ द वेरिएबल वैल्यू विच शोज दैट द टेस्ट एंड सेट इंस्ट्रक्शन कंपेयर एंड स्वैप इज एग्जीक्यूटेड एटोमिकली म्यूचुअल एक्सक्लूजन कैन बी प्रोवाइडेड एज अ ग्लोबल वेरिएबल विच इज गोइंग टू बी डिक्लेयर्ड एंड इट इज कंसिडर्ड एज अ लॉक एंड इज इनिशलाइज टू जीरो द फर्स्ट प्रोसेस दैट इन्वॉल्व कंपेयर एंड स्वैप विल बी सेट लॉक टू वन so it will be then enter its critical section because the original value of the log was equal to the expected value of zero the subsequent calls to the compare and swap will not succeed because the log now is not equal to the expected value of zero when a process exits the critical section it sets lock back to zero which allows another process to enter its critical section and the structure of a process pi is shown in this particular diagram here although these algorithms which satisfy the mutual exclusion requirements they do not uh, satisfy the bounded weighting requirement here in this particular diagram or in this figure we here we are going to present another algorithm using a test and set instruction which satisfy all the critical section requirements and the common data structures which are going to be used here common data structure the common data structures are the data structures are initialized to false and to prove that the mutual exclusion requirement is met here we have to note that the process pi can enter its critical section only if either weighting of i is equal to false or key is equal to false so you can see here in this particular figure the value of the key can become false only if the test and set is executed the first process to execute the test and set will find the key is equal to false all others must wait here the variable weighting of i can become false only if another process leaves its critical section only one weighting of i is set to false which maintaining the mutual exclusion required since a process exiting the critical section either sets a lock to false or sets weighting of j to false here both allows a process that is waiting to enter in its critical section to proceed so to prove that the bounding bounded waiting requirement is met here we have to note that when a process leaves its critical section it scans the array waiting in the cyclic ordering it just designates the first process in this ordering and that is in the entry section that is waiting of j is equal to true as the next one can enter in its critical section the simplest of these tools is the mutex locks here we can use the mutex locks to protect critical regions and also prevents the race conditions which means that a process must acquire the lock before entering a critical section and it just release the lock when it exits the critical section the calls to the either acquire or release must be performed atomically mutex locks are often implemented using one of the hardware mechanisms here the main disadvantage of the implementation that it requires busy waiting so while a process is in its critical section and any other process that tries to enter in its critical section which must loop continuously in the call to acquire 
but in fact such type of mutex locks is also called spin locks because the processes spin while waiting for the lock to become available therefore when a locks are expected to be held for short time spin locks are useful and they are often employed on multiprocessor systems where one thread can spin on one processor while another thread performs its critical section on another processor here pause the video think and answer the answer is c the mutual exclusion can be provided by the both mutex locks and binary semaphore here is my reference